Nestled between Tony Gwynn Drive and Trevor Hoffman Way, this is Petco Park. We've got baseball on the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. Well, this guy's got sort of a tweener, not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between, and he adds and subtracts velocity on it, which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. Okay, all set to go. And now here is Brendan Donovan. And a base hit. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Check That's swing. That's a ball. No appeal. Ball one. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Profar ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. And now it's going to be Lars Nootbaar. Takes it in for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Here's Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy well, that every high. year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. And that's a base hit into left field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Pitch That's misses it. inside. Ball one. Kicks and fires. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. But it's offline. He will score. Back to back base hits. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. First and second, two outs. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Nolan Gorman. Just no, missed. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two on, two outs. That's a strike. And the count even at one. Mm -hmm. 
And he chases that one below the zone. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Got him looking. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Diego and towing the slab, Sonny Gray. What do we have on him? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Luke. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. Righty delivers. Yeehaw. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Tatis waits. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Pitch misses there, and the count is one and two. Nobody out, runner at first. Ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. Goes to second. Safe there. Next is the speedy first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. That misses. 1 0. No outs, runners at first and second. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The 1 1. Yeah. Swings through that one for strike two. One and two is the count. Out towards right center field. Edmund makes a nice running catch to third not in time and it's runners at the corners with one gone as we take a look at the Padres lineup 
already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb. But, yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. Here's Manny Machado now. He yeah. was late there, strike one. Well, all eyes double on one. the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. First and third, one down. Swinging. Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third and one out. Couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Ha Sung Kim, the next to hit, takes high for ball one. The pitch. That one inside. Now 2-0. Oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Right-hander kicks, deals. Slap the other way, foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Corners are occupied with two down. High in the air, out to right. Nuke bar moves under it. Squeezes it. And that is the inning. Padres leave a pair. They trail here, 1 0. here at Petco Park all set for the start of the inning and stepping in for the Cardinals Jordan Walker and here comes Walker measures six feet six inches just 21 years old a former first round pick in 2020 swing and a tapper not in time to get him and the tapper turns into an infield single. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging bunt. And yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. Splits the plate. That's strike one. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Rudder at first with no outs here. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Here's the 0-2. And the oh. slider just misses. It's a good take. Oh. 
Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Walker around second, out his way to third. Headed for the plate. Throw is high and over his head. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. So digging in, Mason Wynn. Out to short, Kim. Tosses across the first, one out in the second. Up next for the Cardinals, the designated hitter. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Brendan Donovan, next up for the Cardinals. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a pitch. Fastball for a strike. And it's a one two. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. Oh. Pitch misses there. Going to count one and two. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that has a reputation for being Fergalicious. Yes, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> Fergalicious. Man at second. In the air, left field, down the line, and that drops foul. Fights that one away, still one and two. Runner at second here, one gone. Runner takes off for third. Pitch That's inside. Throw to third. Save. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. The other way. Base hit, and a run comes in. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Fly to left his first time. That's in there. Going to one. Goldie, multi-time all-star, a member of the 1,000 hit club, He's one of the few Major League Baseball players born in the state of Delaware. The pitch. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Now here is Lars Nootbaar. 0 for 1 so far. That one That's inside, and that is ball one. The pitch. On the outside corner, strike one. Two runs across in the inning here at the top of the second. Next that offering is downstairs. Ball. Two on, one out. That ah. one's in there. It's two and two. Ah. 
And this is inside. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around third. He'll score, and they lead by four. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So one out with two aboard. Nolan Arenado next up for the Cardinals. And he's already singled in this game. Ball. And there's a ball. Nolan Arenado at the plate. Arenado, guy who delivers big time power at the dish and will probably go down as one of the greatest defensive third basemen of all time. Wouldn't chase that time. And speaking of that defense, it's hard to imagine that in high school, Arenado shared the left side of the infield with another elite defender, Matt Chapman at El Toro High School in California. Still only one out here in the inning. Kicks and deals. Now he breaks his bat. Hits it away for the out. Out number two. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Foul ball there. You come into the game knowing that Unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Bogarts with the throw to first. And Contreras is retired. They limit the damage here. They strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple left on. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Cardinals four and the Padres nothing. Bottom half of inning number two, and here is Luis Campusano. Gray, back to work. Up the middle. Gathers and throws to first. That's one out the bottom of the second. Batting seven, the left fielder, Jerickson. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Gray, an all-star a season ago, 34-year-old vet. He joined the team as a free agent. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-1. The Padres down by four. Bottom half of inning number two. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind that as is, to the conviction ball. in the call. One, two. The wind of the pitch. Caught him looking for the K. Batting eight. The two outs, base is empty. And next is the designated hitter, Matthew Batten. That one catches the zone. It's 0-1. 0-1. The wide to kick the pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. And a count is 0-2. And that's in the dirt. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score.
And we're back. We Top half of the third inning. Here's the veteran second, second baseman, Brandon, Brandon Crawford. Crawford. Darvish back to work. There's the strike. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third Come inning is so one important strike. for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Line drive. Makes the catch for the out. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. So up next, Jordan Walker reached on an infield single his first time. High fly ball down the left field line. Profile grabs it on the run. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Outstanding catch right there, and I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Edmund wow. in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And that extends the inning. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Darvis checks on the runner, and he's back in easily. Now at the plate, Mason Wynn. First Low. pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fires. Runner on the go. The pitch. And yeah. now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And another ball. He Swings got... through that one. It's a strikeout. The cards leave one, but they're in front for nothing. Welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the rookie center fielder, Jackson Merrill. The Padres in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. On the inside corner for a strike. Right-hander deals. And that one lifted in the air center field. Edmund in position. Hauls it in for the out. Now that is the second baseman. And here comes Sander Bogarts. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. That one finds the zone. Going one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. On the ground, Crawford. Bogart's That's retired. Enough. Now batting, right fielder. Better not go. Two outs, base is empty. Fernando Tatis Jr., the next up for the Padres. Late on that fastball. 
In the oh, on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing That's you want to ball. do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. One, one. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. The one two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Everything came together for him. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. Tatis dives back in. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed it makes the whole team that much better. That misses the up. zone and it's one and oh. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Runner on the go. Pitch is high. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Right yeah. through there for a strike. A little bit Full high. Count. Full count now. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something Manny Machado in the San Diego on deck circle left hand batter waits and ball that's four. too right high ball four about a great back and forth and that at bat he had to lay off some really Perfect. close Perfect. pitches Perfect. and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there I'll tell you right now I couldn't have done it And Manny gets a piece. First and second, two down here in the last half of the third. Fought off foul. Stays alive. Two outs. That's a ball. Pretty One standard ball, high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Uh -huh. You don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. No runs. A hit. Two left. On to inning number four. It's the Cardinals four and the Padres nothing. Start of the fourth, and here is Brendan Donovan. Brendan Donovan. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a good eye there.
the wind of the pitch. That's a little bit low. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. On the corner for a strike, and it's two and one. Now a screamer into the outfield. Merrill tracks it down for the out. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. The first baseman. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. One for two. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Right through there for a strike. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. Oh and two now. And he chases that one. Two away. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah he's been very frugal today economical with the pitch count. So two down now and here is Lars Newtbar. Inside just missed. One ball. Two down strike. nobody on. Top half of inning number four. That misses. Two and oh. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. That one fouled off two and two. Two down, nobody on. That's the ball. Nolan Arenado. Up next for the Cardinals. Two outs. Well struck right field. And it's off the wall. Around first, digging for two to second, but way too late. Safe there. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Here's Nolan Arenado. This one in the air center field. Merrill on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. So one left for the Cardinals, but they lead it four to nothing. Back here in San Diego, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Hassan Kim. The right hander back to work. That Good. one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And that one finds its way through. So, runner aboard to start the inning. He was all over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now the catcher comes up to him. Luis Campusano. 
And there's the strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. Kim back in on a dive. And the 01. Upstairs. The Redbirds leading by four. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The one two. On the ground to third. Feed to second. That's one. And it's a double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Two outs, base is empty. Jerickson Profar digs in now. Ball one low. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Late on that fastball. Threw that fastball right One, by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Fouls it off, still one and two. And he deals. Good job to fight that one off. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Righty delivers. Foul ball still, a one and two count. The wind and the pitch. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Ready now for the fifth the inning. Park. Here's the catcher, the catch Wilson Contreras. Wilson Contreras. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Headed towards the corner. And it stays fair. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. You're out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That does it for you, Darvish, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. New pitcher on now, Jeremiah Estrada. For the Padres, number 56, Jeremiah Estrada. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. He's 0 for 1. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. You know, these cards, oh digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Eight of their hits came off the bat at 90 miles per hour or harder. These batters are not getting fooled right now. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's one away. Now batter, the left fielder. Jordan Walker. And now, Jordan Walker. And 
And a strike. Action in the pen down there. Adrian Morahone, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. One out and a runner at second. And now no, it's that's even that's up. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Just nope. off the outside oh. edge. Two and one. Foul ball. Now all leave it up. Full count. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Now batting. The Tommy Edmond at the plate. Tommy Edmund. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Runners at first and second with one gone. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one what way inside. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. And that just misses. And that's Look awfully out. close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. On the ground a second. Might be two. Acrobatic throw for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. The runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Cardinals four and the Padres nothing. Here at Petco Park. Now it's the DH, Matthew Batten. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball right side. And that's just foul. You know, these Padres looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now just two outs away. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Merrill takes low. Second trip to the plate in this one. And you got to give some nope. credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. In the air, center field. Makes the grab for the second out. Now back, second baseman. Xander. Last chance for the Padres. Now oh, here's Xander Bogarts now. Oh. 
close oh. one doesn't get the call and that's ball one. And that's no, outside. That's out. Riding to the plate. That that's one misses. Ball. Three balls, no strikes. The Padres down by four. Last half of inning number five. And that one That's off it. the inside oh, edge. You walked him. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI. And those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. On the ground to the left. Win. And that is the ball game. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.